Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Virginie and today I want to show you uh, the beautiful kit I have to work with uh, for the design team project um, designed by Karin Villanova uh, which is the digital curator at Creative Paper Artisan and this kit is called uh, French Cottage, Cottage Rose so it's really good because I'm French, so I'm very happy with that. So um, uh, you have a coupon code in the description box below to offer you 30% uh, off if you buy this uh, kit in an Etsy shop. So let's make a flip through of the kit and then I will expl explain you what I will do with it. So this is the beauty. <laughs> all of my uh, paper to uh, the size that I wanted. Um, the paper basically at the beginning were uh, too big to fit my um, soft cover here from the fabric that I have in my stash. So um, I cut mostly of the paper to 11 and a quarter by seven and a half inch. And some of them I cut uh, smaller to have different kind of size in my journal. So I put my paper on the side for now and I will manage to take apart my uh, fabric from my cover. So for that, I have taken out my um, sewing uh, tool here, which will help me to unstitch my bag. So basically I just pass the needle uh, inside the thread, uh, the stitching, uh, the stitches. Okay, so I go here inside and I pull out to cap, cut the thread. Okay, so I will do that in all the sides and I will show you what I got and which size will be my cover in a moment. So I have on thread all the uh, side here so I will now take a part here uh, and see if I have some stitching some stitches which are still uh, difficult to put but most of the time it's come out very very easily so I remove the broken thread I don't want them to bother me. I will keep this little uh, cord rope here for my uh, future closure. And I will take that. So uh, maybe I can make some pockets on the inside of my uh, paper. So I uh, a piece of fabric which is uh, uh, eight inches 
I'm not sure if it's eight inches everywhere. Let's check. Yeah, it's eight inches and uh, it's more than, uh, it's around 20 inches uh, long, okay? So uh, this side is 20 and this one is eight. So before to cut it down, I will put my signature uh, on. And uh, to add to my uh, paper from the kit, I will actually add some uh, tea, coffee, and walnut stain paper because I want the journal to have uh, two signatures. And uh, I want to interfere uh, the kit and the blank uh, pages. So what I mean for blank pages is a uh, light coffee or tea stain uh, paper. Okay, so I take out some paper that I dyed uh, recently. So uh, the paper on uh, which I have, uh, this one is from... Uh, uh, onion skin, red onion skin, okay, so that can go well with the kit. This is a coffee dyed paper. These are some uh, dyed paper also, and those are the walnut stain paper that I made uh, in a recent uh, video. I will link that uh, in the description box uh, in the corner, so you can uh, check that out. I also have some tea dyed paper and some coffee dyed paper that I made uh, yesterday and which has already dry. This is the tea dye one and I have some uh, uh, paper which I dyed with dry flowers which I put on top of the dyed paper. Uh, for it to dry and I have some uh, lovely uh, print so maybe I will use some of them as well so let's see let's... okay so let's put the signature together so book pages in one side and other paper in the other side okay and let's go uh, randomly okay so i will just put together some paper and then i will uh, fold it and make my signature uh, ready so of course i will speed the process because it's kind of uh, there is not much sense to just look at how I put my paper together. So I think I will put uh, maybe seven to eight pages by signature. So this is already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's enough. And I will put one of the... Um, the lamb one okay so that will be one signature and uh, let's put the signature in the good uh, place so let's fold the paper and of course I will uh, back the the paper when it needs to this one I can leave it like that because you can uh, make writing spot here and you can decorate one side and have writing on the other side. So I don't need to back the kind of vellum one.
trimmer and put the two sheets of paper that need to be trimmed together. <coughs> I'm sorry. So I need a tongue 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 five and a quarter. Yeah. So that will go in. Yeah. And seven and a quarter. Oh, I can't go with this trimmer. So I will have to make a little mark. To seven and a quarter. Okay. Let's trim that. Okay, put it back together at the good place where I decided to go first. Okay, okay, and okay. Oh, this one is too big. I need to trim that down. Ching, ching, ching. Okay, let's see. We will actually make a pocket. Yeah. This one, I have one here.
I want to embellish my uh, some of the pages of Mark's signature, which uh, which are um, from the front side, um, the KPA design paper, and on the back side I didn't back uh, with coffee dyed paper because I wanted to uh, add some stenciling and some um, mixed medium work on top of them. So we will do that now. So let's take the first signature. I will do one signature on video and the other one I will uh, just make a flip through um, at the end. Okay, so let's get started. So for the start, I want to add a color on the back side of my paper. So for this one, I will take a uh, distressing pumice stone. I will take my little brush and I will just add some color uh, as it's a new brush. some of the design and uh, let's see hmm. I will put some contrasting color with uh, peeled paint I want to have some green showing up so I have this little uh, distress ink pad and I will just add some This is 
the, the first pack of my signature. So let's take the second page and do something similar, but not exactly the same. So let's say for this one, I will take a speckle egg. So that's a kind of a blue color. some crackle paste
Okay, so here is the basic uh, first part of decoration of my first signature. So I just put uh, some lace on the on some edges, and then I decorated the white part of the pages. So here's a little flip through. I still have to sew the 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 lace and sew so my pages where I want to have some uh, sewing stitches. But as you can see, I had a little pocket here. Uh, just the bas basic uh, thing there. I glued this pocket down. I had this lace. I made a stamp. Some stenciling again. Here I have uh, just sewed through a stencil and add in some more lace. Some of the lace are picking through, some are not from the outside of the signature. Here I had a flower, um, embroidered flower. Another piece of lace. Oops. That's okay. I will remove that. And here I have put a lace here and I uh, flip it over the other side. That was the glue sticking here, but now it's okay, it's dry, so that's fine. And here I have another piece of lace. This is a texture paste with the crackling effect with some stenciling. And then we have another stenciling on the back. So here's my first signature. I will sew around uh, what I need to sew around. And I will uh, make the exact same thing for my two other signature. I won't do that in camera because that will be exactly almost the same uh, thing with different designs. So